in this question it is given that let f takes r to r be a continuous function such that f3x minus fx is equal to x and f8 is equal to 7 then the value of f14 is equal to you have to find the correct choice it is clear that f3x minus fx equal to x implies that fx minus f x by 3 will be x by 3 by writing x by 3 for x and this means here fx is equal to x by 3 plus f x by 3 that is I have got the value of fx in terms of f x by 3 that is a smaller number and now again I use the same operation then keeping this thing in mind the value of f x by 3 will be x by 3 square plus f of x by 3 square that is I have got x by 3 plus x by 3 square again using the same operation the value of f x by 3 square keeping this given equation in mind we get x by 3 cube plus f x by 3 cube this is equal to and I go on using the same operation say n times I'll be reaching at x by 3 x by 3 square x by 3 cube if I take this step as first step after using first step I have reached at x by 3 I'll be reaching at x by 3 to power n plus f x by 3 to power n and now I take limit as n tends to infinity because I can take this step infinite number of times I'll be getting this part will become infinite gp with first term x by 3 and common ratio 1 by 3 hence I get x by 3 upon 1 minus 1 by 3 and as n tends to infinity this will be tending to 0 and because the function is given to you continuous hence it will become f0 let us name let us suppose f0 as lambda I will be getting x by 2 plus lambda this is fx and because the value of f8 is given to you as 7 putting x equal to 8 will get the value of lambda that is f8 is equal to 4 plus lambda that is lambda equal to 7 minus 4 that is lambda is equal to 3 hence I get f 14 is equal to 14 by 2 plus 3 that is 10 hence the correct choice is B